Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're going to have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail. I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. We are back with part two of the stream that Chrissy did with the Hubbards. And let me tell you, this is, it's so sad already. I really wish these people would finally wake up and, and see what he really is. You know, they, it's a, it's just so sad that they have to keep reliving, uh, reliving this tragedy. It really is. It's a, it's such a shame, but they're talking about how the officers didn't tell them why they were pulling them out of a car, detaining them at gunpoint. Other stuff like that, they were going over the scene, of uh, the layout of the scene, of what happened. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Just just enjoy the show. It's Like I said, it's sad and it's tragic, but nobody else to blame but, but the person that caused the trouble himself. And unfortunately, he's not around anymore because of poor choices. That's all it is. And this family needs to realize that it's just poor choices ended up causing his demise well i mean they do all explanation but at the same time it needs to be factual and that definitely was not the first one was worse than the second one and the second one's horrific you know both releases so far have been awful i mean they paint not just damon but your whole family in a bad light bullshit detected take precautions now, here's the problem. It's all body cam footage that I could see. And unfortunately, people like these these idiots are using that to their advantage because you really can't see a lot of stuff like the car getting rammed. So they're going to run with it and narrate the story to how they want it to happen, not to how it actually did happen. How about you take your own advice, Chrissy boy? You said it has to be factual. Well, why don't you play the entire body cam footage of all the officers on your, your channel instead of picking out little pieces here and there and trying to spin it? After my uncle's suicide, they left it just like it was. Yeah. You know, I don't understand why they do that. There should be people that they employ to, you know. I'm not saying what happened to your uncle. I'm just using this as an example. Why is it taxpayers' problem to fund cleaning a building out after somebody blows their brains out. It's not the taxpayer's problem. That's the problem of the family. The family has to suffer with the cleanup. They have to hire special cleaning crews to come and clean up the brain matter, the blood, make sure the whole house is decontaminated. It's not the taxpayer's problem to, to clean up that mess. Tompkins, well, Damon's over here. He's, he's back here. It's the Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out why before I saw the video why there was so much glass over here. Uh huh. But now I know why. It's pretty low shoddy. Now I hope it doesn't sound like I'm saying it never happened, but doesn't that yard in the driveway look kind of, kind of really nice after a police chase happened on it? After all that stuff. You'd think there'd be some ruts in there, there'd be some damage to the grass, but there's nothing. You really don't see nothing. Maybe a little tire track here and there, but nothing too serious. And I know it's winter time, but still, you would think there'd be some ruts or something in the grass. Yeah. 
shoot. When he was stuck in a ditch. Well, he so which way was the car facing? The car was facing this way. Okay, so you're so in the video. Way. They come up. They're coming up. The car's faced going point towards the road. Yeah. And that would mean that Crulo right was where I'm standing now. And then, so the direction was that way. Yeah. But he'd been hit. Damon had been hit and, and pushed he, off he course. Him, yeah, and Damon backed out of this, and then he, he put it back in drive, and barely started, and Krill started shooting. Yeah. Listen to Chrissy Boy talk to them and asking all these questions like he's some kind of CSI officer. He's a nobody. When all this is said and done, his videos come out. Uh, the family files a lawsuit against the police and whoever else. The family loses a lawsuit. What's going to happen next? They're going to be having to go through all that pain and suffering over again because they were probably led to believe that they had a sure case by going on YouTube justice. You know what I think? I think that the gun, the bullets out of the gun run a lot faster than those fat, slow officers. Yeah. What's that saying? The pot calling the kettle black or something like that? Is that how that saying goes? And I think that they wanted to stop him from running away. Yeah. They assumed he was running away. I think they're cowards. Me too. And I think they use bullets to chase people. But when Damon, when Damon, Damon's wheels did slightly turn. Yeah, but not. After he'd been shot by Tompkins through the windshield. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that altered Damon. I don't whether it was. Well, he was he shot was, he was four times the through the passenger window before that car went forward. Damon was slumped over. The so hold on a minute. You're calling the police officers cowards for doing their job. What about, what is it, your grandmother, your mother, whatever she is? What about her? She's the one that ran to the police and said that they're gonna, that Damon's going to kill her. So what do you think is going to happen? They already, they already assume he's a threat. He does what he does. He runs from the police, and look what happens. What do you think was going to happen? This was flat out just them gunning this man down. They gunned him down. They shot him eight times. Shot him in the head, shot him in the chest, shot him in the arm, through the torso, clean through. They just gunned they your murder him. down. If you shoot somebody eight times, you're going to kill him. They murdered him. Yeah. They killed him for the thought that he might be fleeing. How did the police officers know that he was not going to run them down with his car? How did they not know that? They don't know what the guy's thinking. They don't know what kind of mindset he's in other than what the mother said about him. So how would they know? And if you look at how that car was going, you would think that he was actually trying to run that officer over. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. We got to use frauditor logic. We got to say to ourselves, well, why didn't the cops just jump out of the way? That's what he should have done. He should have had his gun in his holster and never did nothing and just jumped out of the way and got in his car and chased after him. That's fraud or logic. It, it's just like the man in, in Jackson County, the older man that was law, you know, mentally. Oh, that Krulo had, a had crisis, everything to that do Krulo, with let go. They said they saw he had a mental problem. They called the ambulance. Well, the ambulance didn't find anything wrong. And then Jackson County found him dead later. And they found him dead at the creek or something. It was off the 256. Mm -hmm. Off the side of the road. Waters. I read to that me, article. I don't know the laws, but as a human being, if I saw that person was ill, I would have seen to it myself that he got home. What? So why didn't you do that with your son then? Why did you not get him help? Why did you not get him institutionalized or some kind of temporary hold in the hospital so he had to stay there and get a mental evaluation? Why did you not do that? It sounds to me like they have issues picking up on cognitive issues. I, they certainly they, do. They're not but catching he said the memo. He recognized but with that the death of Damon. Now, I can't remember exactly where it was in the video, but I thought that lady, the the young lady there, she said that she worked for a 911 call center. I think she did. I can't remember exactly. But so she should know that police officers are not trained in mental crisis situations. They're trained to uphold the law and the law only. Yes, they can help out with certain things, but they're not trained like, like these people think they're going to be. What, what he hit, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm sure he hit the car. He, I don't know. Yeah. But I, well, I, I mean, this, these, this space is tiny. Yeah. Well, there's <coughs> a police officer 
went across the street to the greenhouse, mm -hmm. asked if they was okay because they were in the line of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how just unaware Had they any were of us the walked around this corner, we would have been gone. Sure. And there's a door to their basement right, right. there. That's a little old lady, five-year-old lady. That dad used to so if she had heard this. commotion and come to that door to see what was going on, she would most likely be struck by a bullet. Even at that, shooting towards the house, you don't know if there's anybody in this house. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. right. Oh, they didn't care. They didn't care. They were, uh, they were chasing bad guys. In one of the videos. Okay, good people. Leave comments down in the comment section if you have ever seen this happen. Have you ever seen a police officer that was about to shoot somebody stop and say, hey, I can't shoot you right here. I have to have you go over here so I can shoot you. Have you guys ever seen that happen? No, I have never either. So why would these people think that the police officers are going to not shoot somebody? I, I just don't get it. Yes, police officers have a duty to make sure they're shooting in a safe direction. But in a heated situation like this, their job is to stop the issue, stop what's happening. Uh, what I got, what the way I heard it, he was coming around for the second time, and he got around about in here. Well, that's where he got out of his vehicle. But he said his little choice word and got like like you could hear anger in his voice. I mean, that's what I heard. And it's like you could hear him real fast. It's, I'm gonna end getting this off. He didn't say it, but it's like I'm gonna take care of this now. We're not doing this again. And then went over there and shot him. So do you have proof that's what he did? Do you have any proof that shows that he wanted just to end it and kill him? I didn't see nothing in the video that had that shown that kind of proof. Now, if you're talking about what I witnessed, yeah, he got out of the car. He said a few. He said a, a, a bad word, and I mean, I would probably say the same thing too if I put the car in park, had to get out, and then had to go back in there. They have a real issue with wanting to be in physical control yeah. mm -hmm. of any subjects that they encounter. Yeah, like he's not going to run us around this yard. Well, all David right. stepped out of that car over he there. Didn't have to. They chose to. Them, them they guns should have been holstered. Yeah. Because it was visibly, like, he didn't have a weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, Damon was getting out. Damon was calmly communicating. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a weapon. What do you call that thing with four wheels that he was driving around in? That could be used as a weapon. I know for auditors will never admit that, but that thing could be considered a weapon if used improperly. And he was not calm. Listen to him shout. That's not a law. Hey. Show your hands now. What? Because he said so. That's not a law. Absolutely it is. And they had already established that, that what he was reaching for was a flashlight. It was a flashlight. The officer says it out loud to the other officers on the scene in the video. He was reaching at the middle console. He did He did have a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. He says it's a flashlight. Right. Yeah. He had a flashlight. So why were their guns still out? You were literally too stupid to insult. Just because he had a flashlight in his car does not mean he didn't have a handgun, a rifle, a shotgun in his car. Until the scene is safe, they're going to keep their handguns out and point it. Yet, maybe one or two officers will put the guns away. They'll go apprehend him, put him in handcuffs, and then the, why the other officer that's there will keep a handgun trained on him until he's properly secured. Until then, the handguns are going to stay out. Yeah. You know, when you know that the man's unarmed and that he was semi-compliant at that point, he was ready to comply. Right, right. And then, I mean, but who would comply when you have three people pointing their weapons at you, right. screaming yeah. and slamming shields into your car? Right. Right. You know, I wouldn't comply. Well, first of all, Chrissy, if I was told to stop the vehicle right then and there, I would have slammed the brakes on and I would have yelled out the window, can I put my car in park and then follow their directives. I would not have backed up into the parking spot to park. I would not have tried to get the do door open and yell, that's not a law. I mean, like common sense. I don't know what I was going to say. Can I ask you a you, question? Yes. What did you expect? Like, what did you rightfully expect that the officers would do when you went and asked for help? I was hoping, I have to explain this first. I am in a group on Facebook with families with people with schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. And what they say to do is, you know, a lot of times you go to the police and they can get these people to the hospital. A professional agency can. So if I got this straight from what I just heard, you took advice off of Facebook, off of the Internet, 
from total strangers that you have no clue, you have no clue about their background, you have no clue what they actually do for a living, but yet you took their advice. Sounds like somebody else that that we know, isn't it? She listened to 20 people and tell her go do something and look what happened to her. Well, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. They talk about, you know, the police helping. That as a parent is all I knew to do. Mm-hmm. So as a parent, that's all you knew how to do was go on a Facebook on the Internet and ask total strangers who you have no clue who they are, what they are, what their background is, and ask them what to do. Are you sure a lot of these people actually have mental health situations going on in their family lives? Or they could they just be, I don't want to say trolls, but could they be scammers? That are trying to get stuff or trying to do stuff like harm your family. I mean, I wouldn't go online and ask somebody for help like this. I would probably consult a medical physician and see what we could talk, what we could do about it. And that's what I was hoping for that they could they could see him, see the state he was in, and get him help. So you expected them that's, to help you in yeah. a mental crisis situation. Right. You needed help. You didn't need them to be physical. You didn't need them to no. hurt your son. You just wanted them to come right. assist with the with the crisis situation. What I was going to say, Crulo was going to follow us, and that's what I say. When they, by the time they said that, I was done. I really wasn't taking stuff in, and I got out in the car and I t- I said, uh, "He's going to follow us." He says, "Why?" I said, "I don't know." How do you not know? After all the stuff you went in and reported to the police officer about your son. Obviously, they're going to follow you to make sure you're safe. But anyway, we got to 18th Street. Crew Low turned off. He went up M Street. And I don't know, we don't know which street he turned off. He didn't get behind us until up here at 27th. Now, me, as soon as I got in the car, I didn't know we were being followed because it left, it wasn't, it left me. Mm-hmm. But he was, he saw him when he turned and when he got behind us. So, see, in my thoughts, he was looking for Damon. Then. Mm-hmm. So, and it's possible he, that he was because at that time no real communication happened right, until they pulled guns on Damon. Yeah. And then I think there was a dispatch, which we don't have all the records, but I believe I that's like what we're going to find. Right. To me, that's where it starts. I mean, yeah. you know, where they automatically just drew on him. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to say I have any proof, but I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm assuming I'm, I'm going by what I would do if I was in a situation and you came in and reported this to me. I would either be on the radio or on the phone calling the officers that that are there are going to be responding and telling them exactly what you said, what what he said to you, what he was going to do, uh, if there was any weapons involved. I would be relaying all this information to these officers to let them know, hey, something might happen. That's another thing that they never one time told him nothing anything no, no they never they answered his not, question you're under arrest you're not going to be detained you're not nothing. why we're here why we've got our guns on you nothing nothing and all he did was ask why mm-hmm. why anybody would want to know why and yeah and then when they started to grab him physical that's when damon drove off damon was not going to get physical with him no i mean all that to me shows every bit of that and it's happened to him in the past with bpd yeah. they've gotten physical with him and, and when and they the, didn't need to in right, the past. Right. And the people of Lawrence County better understand this can happen to anybody. You may think your kids are okay now, but you don't know where your kids are going to be, you know, your grandkids. You just don't know. Now, you just heard them say they never said once you're going to be detained, you're under arrest, why you have your guns drawn on them, why you're not answering his questions. Well, let's take a look at Bonnie and Clyde. What happens if they use that logic the police officers use that logic on these two. The police officers would be dead. They would be six feet under and they'd be dead because these two would have probably put bullets right through them. Police officers are trained to make the scene safe first. That means putting the suspect in handcuffs and making sure there is no weapons, nothing that could cause any harm or damage to himself, themselves, or anybody around them. You don't know what's going to happen, but this should not be allowed. This no can worries. happen to anybody in anybody Lawrence County. In Lawrence County. Yeah, I mean, that's a very strong statement that you just oh, made. Yeah. And um, She's absolutely right. It can happen to anybody. But here's the thing. 
it didn't happen to anybody. And most people, when they get stopped by a cop, they don't resist. They don't drive away. They follow commands. If the cop tells you to stop what you're doing, you stop what you're doing. You don't drive forward, back up into the parking spot. You stay right where you're at. And then you follow the prompts from the officer. If the officer says, put the car in park very slowly, move your hand and put the car in park, you do it. And when the cops tell you, get out of the car, you're under arrest, you don't drive away. And then you just don't, you just don't do that kind of stuff. Policing is totally different than it used to be. But Have you had experiences where policing was more rational yeah. in oh, your yeah. we, generation? In fact, I didn't hear when we were younger, when we were younger and married. Um, and, of course, they're all retired now, you know. There was, I didn't hear any of this. Do you know why things were different back then? Because there was no social media. There was no people going online spinning the narrative to make it look like everybody's the bad guy. I'm going to say something. It, but, Go ahead. The thing is now, we have no police. If something happened, we have no police. We cannot go to, to call for help. We can't do it. Well, you know, Missy, I'm going to hold you accountable on that statement that you cannot call the police. When something happens and you call the police, I'm going to play that recording to you just so you can hear that. Because you know what? I think you're a complete liar on that. You are going to call the police if something happens. And you can't trust the police, but you can trust two people that are alleged criminals. I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. You, you, tr you put your trust in a guy that has a couple of felonies, several misdemeanors, and looking at 11 total charges all together, and, another, and both of them put YouTube videos out, and they attack people. I just don't get it. Why would you put your trust in two losers? I want to I want to be clear about that. One of the officers that responded to this scene that night and shot. shot right. This is a person who had been on a previous call to this residence before mm -hmm. right. and recognized that there was a mental health crisis situation going on right. with Damon. Mm -hmm. So he was well aware of the potential of this just being something where he needed to make a phone call to the right people, do some de-escalation and try to calm things down. So Tompkins is a complete failure on that level on this. So why is it always the police officer's responsibility to get help for these people? What about the family? Where was the mother? Where was that father? Where was the son? Where was the granddaughter? Why didn't they take care of the problem? Why didn't they get him the help that he needed? Just don't blame one side. If you want to blame somebody, blame both sides. You know, because you guys are equally to blame. Because you did nothing to get him help. You could have got him in a hospital. You could have got him, I don't know what it's called in your state. It's some kind of, it's 302 where I live. That's a mental, one of those mental things. But you could have done something to get him help. Do the schizophrenia. Resources or something, seeing someone in a state of distress like that. Yeah. You know, she was other, expecting the resources to be done. agencies have policies in place to where they have a system built for situations like that where police could take them and have a stress test done so that they could get into physician care. And you know this. You I, worked in yeah, dispatch. I know this. At a, in a bigger city that does things better yep. than here. Um, their CIT or crisis intervention team. Yeah. yeah CIT got unit it. was very, I mean, that was serious business. You, you were to go by all the SOPs. Now, I don't know how it is from other states, but the state that I live in, I was an EMT years ago. When there was a mental health crisis, the police would show up as security just to make sure the scene was safe. The EMTs, paramedics were, were safe. There was no problems. They would notify you, say, hey, scene is safe. Come on in. The ambulance would pull right up. The EMTs would come out, assist the patient, take him to the hospital, and that was it. Now, I don't know what, what the protocols are for these state, the other states or in this state here. But if she was doing with something, some kind of crisis response or whatever it is as a dispatcher, why didn't she know what to do? That's what I'm kind of curious. Why didn't she get him the help? Because she's supposed to know what kind, what kind of services are out there. So why couldn't she get the help for him? 
You know why? Because I bet you he did not want the help. He refused the help. And not only that, but they didn't want to help either. Am I am I correct on that assumption? But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Oh, man. I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull. Yo, I can't fucking take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this is... I can't even handle it no more. Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'll beg you. We're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this man. Seriously, please. Who has a YouTube channel. It's not me, by the way, so. All right. There's other gentlemen. He's been getting in fights and altercations. He's been arrested. Other people have been arrested. And what's going on is this guy who lives in Evans Mills mm -hmm. keeps going to down to this bar, egging on the people down there, recording them, going live, hmm. and it continues every single day. Hand to hand combat. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, sure. You ain't gonna do it. Nah, come on, let's go You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk, buddy. Oh, right. come on. They are suing me for five million dollars. Caught crabs once. I've had crabs a few times. That I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You're going to come to find out that it's going to be one in the wing call, one for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy for playing by you. Grandma got a mouth. Wow. A little too much accelerant. <laughs> it's Captain Happy. God damn it. I like the camera. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Why? Why? Why are you recording? Because <laughs> you look weird. I look weird? Do I look weird? You look creepy. I look creepy. So don't finish. worry, it's don't worry. It's hard to get good. on YouTube and, and to get subs. Trust me, I, I know it's hard. But 17K, like even though, yeah, it's fantastic, it's great. If you have four arrests for 17K, not worth it, not that great of an accomplishment. I'm letting everybody know because of all the backstabbers to like Delete Law, James Freeman, Lackluster, and all the people that made tons of money off of my videos. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. I used to say that like, I owned a franchise, I owned a Papa John's franchise.